Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 to 3 minutes. Today we're investigating a topic that sparked concern among parents and educators alike. Why kids don't go outside anymore? It's a question that's been on the minds of many, and today we will explore the scientific and data-driven reasons behind this phenomenon. Before we discuss the why, let's take a closer look at the numbers. According to recent studies, children today spend on average 7 hours per day on screens, whether it's smartphones, tablets, computers, or TVs. This is an alarming statistic. It is a significant increase over just a decade ago. Now let's break the science behind this trend. One of the primary reasons for the decline in outdoor playtime is the allure of screens. Screens provide instant gratification and endless entertainment, stimulating the brain reward system much like addictive substance does. Furthermore, the rise of social media and online gaming has created virtual communities where children can interact without leaving their homes. This virtual socializing replaces the need for face-to-face -face interaction, reducing the initiative of going outside to play with your friends. Additionally, safety concerns have also played a significant role in this issue. In today's world, parents are more cautious about allowing their children to roam freely outdoors due to their increased awareness of potential dangers, such as traffic accidents and stranger danger. Moreover, urbanization has led to fewer green spaces and fewer playgrounds in many neighborhoods. Without easily accessible outdoor areas, children are simply less inclined to go outside and play. So what's the consequences of this shift towards indoor and active lifestyle? Firstly, there's the issue of physical health. Lack of outdoor playtime contributes to inactive lifestyles, leading to many health problems such as obesity, diabetes, and heart diseases. Furthermore, outdoor play is essential for the development of spatial awareness and sensory integration. Without regular outdoor play, children may experience delays in these areas. Lastly, there are mental health implications here. Studies have shown a correlation between excessive screen time and mental health issues, such as depression, anxiety, and attention disorder. So what can we do to encourage children to go outside and play? Well, it starts with setting limits on screen time and providing alternative outdoor activities. Encourage children to explore nature, play sports, or engage in creative outdoor games. Additionally, advocate for more green spaces and playgrounds in your community. By providing safe and accessible outdoor areas, we can create environments that encourage outdoor play and physical activity. Parents can also lead by example. This is very important. Make outdoor activities a family priority, whether it's going for hikes, bike rides, or a picnic in the park. Spending quality time outdoors as a family not only promotes physical health, but also strengthens the family's bond. Lastly, let's work together to raise awareness about the importance of outdoor play. Share articles, videos, resources, and use social media. Also support organizations that promote outdoor recreation and environmental conservation. To wrap things up, the decline in outdoor play among children is a multi-layered issue with significant implications for their physical and mental well-being. By understanding the science behind this trend and taking proactive steps to promote outdoor play, we can ensure a healthier and happier future for our children. Thank you for watching. Until next time.